Good morning, everybody. Rob Bergie from New Outdoors, and we're here today to announce a really great partnership with the Portable Winch. I'm not sure if you remember our moose hunt from last fall, but I was cursing myself for not having a portable winch then, and look what we got. Ta-da! Thankfully, the good folks at Portable Winch also saw our video and realized that we really could have used their product. So they sent us the PCW 3000. It's a four stroke Honda powered motor that we are now gonna be able to take all around and use for all sorts of different purposes. So this guy has a 700 kilogram or 2200 pound pulling capacity. Uh, again, right off the bat, I'm gonna use it for moose, but I have a ton of other reasons to use it as well. We're gonna use it for docks, pulling logs. If you're stuck in your truck, it's super versatile and super portable. So what's nice with this little kit that they sent me, it comes in a, a good hard box that protects it. We then have the backpack accessory. So especially for my moose hunt again, I can throw this box on the backpack and take it into the woods wherever I need to go. They've given us two different rolls of line. So we have a 50 meter and a 100 meter uh, roll of line, 2200 kilogram capacity or roughly 4,500 pound capacity for each. We have a couple of different carabiners. So we have a, basically a medium weight and then a heavy weight carabiner. This is a really neat little item. So this is basically a mounting plate. If you don't have a tree to attach your winch true with your sling, this you put on the ball of your, basically your trailer hitch on your vehicle. So that way you have a nice solid platform to pull from. We then have a couple of chokers. We have a nylon choker and we have a chain choker. So whenever you get to your load, depending what it is, you have those two options to attach it again securely to then pull back to you. I uh, quickly mentioned the slings. The slings are going to be for wrapping around a tree so you can properly attach your winch to pull from. You could also possibly use it in other spots as a redirect. So you can, between your sling and these nice pulleys that they also gave us, you can transfer where you're going to pull that load to. With those pulleys, one of the big advantages is every time you use a pulley, it's called the mechanical advantage, you actually reduce the pulling power by 50%. So if you add one pulley, two pulley, or three pulleys, you are just reducing that load weight that you need to pull. If you have something big or stuck, you may wanna use that mechanical advantage to your advantage to help you pull those big weights. So overall, we have all of the toys, we have all the kit to get going. Uh, I forgot to mention, we also have this yellow it's basically like a cone to go over logs for logging so if you're pulling out a log it's not going to get hung up on other logs or in the bush we have our nice carrying cases so that it's going to be compact we're going to have everything we need to throw this on our back go into the woods and do whatever we need to do and it's made in canada Well, if you can't tell yet, our project is to pull a dock this morning. Uh, so we have our new docks in, we have our old docks out, and we're going to pull them up onto shore so we can take them apart and get rid of them. Uh, so we're going to do that using portable winch. We have our truck, parking brake is on in park, so we have a solid platform to tow from. And now we're going to go get the winch hooked up and started. So just to give you the quick breakdown on how to, how to get it up and running, we have our on-off switch on the side here, our choke. So up is choke on, down is the run position. We also have a little primer bulb underneath that ours is already primed, but you would want to press that once or twice to get it going. We have obviously our fuel. This is a four stroke motor, so you just need regular unmixed gas. We have our pull cord to start over on the side. And then we have our throttle here as well. So you can control how much gas goes in to run the motor with your throttle. Lastly, we have these mounting uh, hooks. So that's what you're gonna use to either use one of your straps around a tree. Because we're gonna be connecting this to the back of my pickup truck, we're gonna use this handy dandy bracket. So we're gonna start by connecting it to our hooks, which is quick and simple. Bring it down. Just sliding it over our two inch ball. Next step is running our line around the winch itself. So we start by coming through this bottom guide. We're gonna go underneath once, twice, minimum of three times, could be four, and then we're gonna come out the top loop. Once we have that secured, time to start the motor. We've got our choke on.
We're gonna come to the other side. And we pick up the tension. Our other line is secured on the bumper by using a bowline. And we have a carabiner with a pulley. So we got our big heavy dock to shore. The work's not completed yet, but the portable winch really did its job. I'm really looking forward to using this on our moose hunts this fall, and we also have several other projects this summer that we'll be using it. So if you wanna see more of us using the portable winch, be sure to follow us, like, subscribe. Let us know what you would do with the portable winch in the comments section. And lastly, if you wanna learn more about the portable winch, there's all sorts of uh, links to their information in the description below. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and we'll catch you again next time.